Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I have been up since 10 to 5. Hence why I look like this. I cannot be bothered putting on any makeup or even looking remotely like a human today. I had the worst sleep last night. I woke up at like 1 o'clock or like 12 o'clock with the biggest headache. And I don't know why. Like I, I must have been really dehydrated. It was like throbbing. I felt my head was going to explode. And then I had to wake up at 10 to 5 to take my mom and my stepdad to my auntie's house so then they could go to the airport because they're actually going to Japan for like two and a half weeks. So jealous, um, which means that I'm actually staying at my mom's house for that two and a half week time period to look after my family dog, Teddy. He's just having a nap because um, he's been up since 10 to 5 as well. I did, however, go for my walk this morning. I went at like 10 past 7. So I got I came home. I got home at like 6. And then I had a coffee and I was just sort of sitting around and I was like, I'm tired, but I'm not like tired enough to go back to sleep yet. So I was like, well, why don't I just take Teddy and we'll go for a really early, early morning walk. And then when I came back and I had my walk and I had my breakfast, I've just crashed. Like I, I feel exhausted. I feel like I've been up since like an entire day and I feel I look really puffy too, even though I probably don't, I haven't had like another nap yet i probably will this afternoon but i had to get excuse me i had to get a grocery shop done and i was actually going to go to the grocery shops to do it but again I, can't, I couldn't be bothered i was so tired that i was like whatever i'm just gonna get it delivered and then i'll plan better for next week and then the week after and i'll go to the shops go to the market do all the things so what Okay, I can already see in the bag here that there's something in here that shouldn't be in here. And I really should check to make sure that I've actually got everything. But, um, is this mine? Oh no, it is. It's got my name on it. Okay. Anyway, um, so I figured I would do a little haul for you. Let's start with like fruit and veg. So I think they've just sort of chucked it all wherever. But most of these are for dinners for two people and also some lunches as well. Again, for my Instagram and TikTok, if you are not following me over there, please make sure that you do. My TikTok, excellent news actually before we jump in. My TikTok today at like 9, 10 a.m. reached 10,000 followers. Like, oh my God, that's so exciting. <laughs> it is actually really, really exciting. I actually managed to get like... 9,000 followers, I think in the space of two weeks, just posting like my recipe content for my website, like so good. Instagram on the other hand is again, very, very hard to grow. For me personally, I could be doing something totally wrong. If you go on my Instagram and you notice that there's something missing or I'm doing something wrong, please DM me because I would love to know why I'm not growing as fast on Instagram as I am TikTok. But on Instagram, I have, I think 224 followers and then TikTok 10,000. So there's a big difference there. And then some of my videos have now gone into the millions. So one of them I think is now 4.6 million and the other one's like 3.7 million. So I'm really excited with that. If you are following along with my journey, I quit my full-time teaching job to pursue a career in food content creation. I have always kind of wanted to be my own boss. And because I was hating my job earlier this year, I decide stuff it, I'm just gonna quit and go all in. And then if all else fails, I'll just go back to CRT. So yeah, I and any kind of support that you can give me, like, comment, follow on all platforms, some of the platforms, it's your choice, um, or none of them if you choose to. So yeah, that's the idea. But let's just jump straight into the grocery haul because I'm sure that's what you actually wanna see. First, I got some Danish Havarti cheese slices. These are for some wraps that I'm doing on TikTok and Instagram. Wraps are very controversial. I've had some like, not hate comments, but I've had some extremely interesting comments on some of my videos on TikTok. I put like lettuce and tomato in a wrap and then I put it on the stove to like toast it slash warm it. And someone was like, people who warm lettuce and tomato shouldn't be allowed in society. And I was like, chill out, it's fine. Um, Thai basil. A ah, lettuce head. I thought, oh yeah, I do. Um, two little things of chilies. I would have rather a more red chili, but that's okay. Two chilies. I did not order these. The odd bunch, pears, that's fine. I will eat them once they soften up a little bit. I actually really like pears. So excellent, pears. 
Uh, two avocados. These are actually really quite hard, which is fine because I'm not doing a wrap today. Um, I'll do it late, a little bit later in the week, and these are rock hard. The Huss avocados, of course. If you know, you know. Some cheeses. So I just got... Oh, the lettuce is like full of little bugs. And all the bugs have just gone everywhere. Gross. What was I saying? Two different cheeses. Okay, so I've got tasty cheese and parmesan cheese. Two tomatoes. Uh, some garlic. These are actually really good. If you are doing a grocery shop online, I would recommend getting this three pack from Woolies. It's cheaper than buying it per head. So one garlic head is $1.65. This is $3.30. So you kind of get like one for free. So that's a little tip for you. Two red onions. I'm loving red onion in pasta at the moment. I don't actually remember the last time I used brown onion. Loving these. I got some tortillas. I am making burritos on Wednesday night with my sister. And normally I use like jumbo, but we might just have to see how we go with these ones. We might have to have like two smaller ones. We'll try. And then I got some little mini taco things. I was, I'm going to make pulled beef tacos with like cheese that when you toast it and then like open it, all the cheese like oozes out. Some lasagna sheets. I'm actually going to attempt to make a chicken lasagna. I've never done that. It's like a chicken Alfredo lasagna. Spaghetti. You guys know that these two brands are like pretty much the only spaghetti or pasta brand that I use. Not, not all the time, but there are a couple of others, but Barilla. My definite ultimate fave. I got spaghetti. And I hardly ever get spaghetti because Lewis doesn't like spaghetti. He likes spaghettini. I got John West tuna. This stuff was half price. So I got the fancy, the fancy tuna version this week. Some cupy. Mum didn't have any and I need some. And I'm probably not going home to like my house to steal this for a couple of days. Um, but I'll probably use this over the two, three weeks anyway. My mum didn't have any smoked paprika, so I bought her some. Some thin, oh, these are really thin. Hockey and noodles. I kind of wanted thicker like Shanghai noodles. I don't know, whatever, they'll have to do. I got two cucumbers. Cucumbers. I'm making like a cucumber roll with a couple of things in it. And then I'm also going to try, I found it on another lady's Instagram and I'm, I'm going to give her credit for it, but I'm just going to like recreate it with my own ingredients where you like scoop out the cucumber, then you like stuff it with things. So I'm going to do that. And I bought two just in case I stuff it up. I also, now because I'm by myself for two and a half weeks and Lewis isn't here, it means that I can buy a couple of things that I like. Don't judge, but yes, it is Diet Coke. Yes, it is horrific for you. And yes, I know how bad it is, but do I love it? Yes, this is like my favorite Coke. And in our house, normally it's Coke Zero because that's the one that Lewis likes, but I much prefer Diet Coke. And then lastly, all of the meats. I picked up just under a kilo of chicken breast. Again, like whatever I don't use this week, I'll freeze and then use next week and plan my recipes that I'm creating accordingly. Um, some bacon for breakfast on the weekend. Chicken thigh fillets. This is to go with this. Just with like a little bit of sauce and some chili. And lastly, I picked up some pork mince. So I got 800 grams of this which I might chop into fourths. So I'll chop um, into 200 gram lots. And that's all I got. I'm glad I got a free thing of pears, but I feel like I'm missing something. I might have to go back through my order. I always get really nervous when they add something extra because I'm like, well, what didn't you add? Like you added the pears, but maybe did you not add something else? I don't know. I'll have to check. And then, yeah, if they did miss something, I'll let you know. Anyway, um, I most likely won't talk to you guys for the rest of the day because I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm going to do a little bit of computer work and then I'll just chill for the rest of the day. Most likely have a nap. Actually, I might see you at dinner time. I'm literally just going to do like spaghetti, 
chili flakes, oil, and parmesan. I think it's called like spaghetti olio el -e I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. That's what it's called. So we might make it together. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. I just got back from babysitting my nephew. Well, I mean my babysitting, he was sleeping pretty much the whole time. Just for like an hour and a half, just while my sister could go and do Pilates. I have just come back to my mom's house and I'm getting ready to cook for the day. Got two things that I wanna cook. Um, some cucumber boats and as well as a meal for my 15 minute not 15 minutes, sorry, 15 meal, under $15 budget series for couples. That was a very long winded way of saying that. Um, I am just waiting on some chicken to be cooking. So I've just got one chicken breast in the pan and then I'm gonna like shred it and make it bang bang style. I think, I don't know, I'll give it a try. See what it's actually like. I feel like I probably should have seasoned it all before I cooked it. I'm not sure. I might have to like take it out, shred it, put the seasonings in it, and then put it back on the fry pan just to like coat it again. I'm not sure, but I have to clean this. Um, and then I might show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I just finished making both of my dishes. This is the cucumber boat. They are not as aesthetic as what I would like. Um, but I think they'll be okay. I might just like title them. Oh, that lighting so much better. I might just title them like unesthetic cucumber boats or whatever. Cause I don't want people to be like, oh, these don't even look that nice. Um, just cause I couldn't get the QP to come out like all pretty and stuff. Like I, there's a girl that I follow online. She's really good. Her name is um, Recipes by, Vic by Victoria. And her recipes look really aesthetic. And I'm just like not a super super aesthetic person so i don't know i feel like maybe my stuff is a bit more casual than hers perhaps but that's okay it's it is what it is i also made oh, i just put it away i made a like taiwanese chicken stir fry i'll show you here it's just sort of still in the pan uh this is part of my budget series this was this is really yum. I actually really thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, and I forgot to say that the cucumber boats are like um, bang bang chicken. So it's a chicken breast shredded with sweet chili, QP mayo and sriracha. And then I just put it inside the cucumber with a bit of QP on top and some chili flakes. And then I also did like a little squeeze of lemon too. I made such a mess. It's gonna take me a little while to clean it. And then I have to edit. I might actually publish the cucumber boats today. Uh, I usually do like my, the budget dinner series one, but I kind of want to try the cucumber boat. And I think I'll title it, yeah. Unesthetic bang bang chicken cucumber boats or something. Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. I don't think I've actually said hello to you yet. I am in the process of making burritos. Actually, it's just like in the slow cooker. You would have seen me put some stuff in there this morning. My bloody SD card like filled up so I couldn't actually show you what I was putting in them. My sister's coming over tonight with Alfie and she's never had my burritos before. And I was like, well, I'll make them for you because they're delicious. This is what it's currently looking like. So, oh, sorry, did that fog up? Sorry, you all fogged up. Anyway, it is beef chuck steak with like some herbs and spices and every like hour or two, I just flip it over in the sauce just to make sure that like both sides are coated. The thing with this kind of meat is that it is quite oily and I just have to be really careful to not like flick it on my top. I think it might actually almost be done. It's three o'clock, it's been in there for six and a half hours. Um, but I want it to be like super tender. So I'm just like slowly breaking it up and like moving it around the sauce, making sure that it's all mixing through. And then after the like eight hour mark, so about 4.30 or maybe just before 4.30 because I want to go for a walk, I'll like shred it all in the sauce and then I'll take some of the sauce out and I'll most likely like cook it down so then it's a little bit thicker. But I figured while I wait for my sister to come and my computer is currently charging and I need to write recipes for today for me to upload to TikTok and Instagram, I would make the Pico de Gallo, Gallio? I don't know how to, I'm so awful at pronouncing things. I can't believe that I was a teacher. <laughs> Cause I can't 
pronounce shit. Anyway, I need to chop up um, red onion, coriander, which I think is like the devil's food. It tastes like bloody soap, but in certain things, it's okay. I'll make compromises for certain things and in Mexican food, coriander is okay. So red onion, coriander, tomato. I'm just gonna use some tomato that my mom's already started to use and then some lemon and salt and pepper. And then later I'll mush up a avocado, put a little bit more lemon in it with some salt and pepper. A great tip for when you're like chopping, make sure that you've got like a proper grip on your knife. So don't hold your knife like this. Make sure you kind of like pinch it and that way you've got a little bit extra control over the knife and your speed and like where you want the knife to go with your chopping. I need to make this nice and fine. I don't really like super chunky onion um, just cause sometimes it can not like give me an upset tummy, but I don't know. I just find that I don't like the onion breath. And when it's like a bit more finely chopped, I feel like a lot of the juices or the, not the juices, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the stuff that's in an onion that makes you like cry and stuff. I found that when you finally chop it, it comes out a bit more. I forgot, I went home today to see Lewis and grab a couple of things and I forgot my other bloody um, tripod adapter. So I can't use my taller tripod, which means that like I would be able to show you fully what I'm doing right now, but because I left it at home. Also, I didn't think that I was like a stripes person, but I actually don't mind this stripe top. It's just from Uniqlo. Okay, so that is my red onion. I'm also really enjoying red onion in a lot more pastas these days too. I'm just, it's Friday morning, everyone. I'm just at my sister's house taking care of my like little nephew just while she goes to Pilates. We just tried to do a feeding session and we weren't too hungry, I don't think. Um, <laughs> he's got a little bit of like a cough. So he sounds a little bit raspy, don't you? He's so cute. He's in a little Harry Potter outfit at the moment. I'll turn you around and I'll show you. I'm not gonna show you his face, but yeah, we got a little bit of a cold, don't we, little man? He's really cute. We haven't screamed yet, have we? So we might try a little bit more of a feed before she comes back. He only had like an ounce. I don't know if that's much or not. But yeah, he's in a little Harry Potter outfit. I'll show you. I'm sorry, but how cute is this? How cute is this outfit? <laughs> My sister and I like love Harry Potter, don't we? Yeah. I really wish I, oh, well, I could show you, but I don't, I know my sister probably wouldn't mind, but I don't really want him to be on there because he's so cute. His hair actually today looks quite ginge. So a lot of my family actually has red hair and he's got a little bit of a ginge tinge, ginge tinge today. Um, and his eyebrows are actually getting a lot lighter too. Like they were, I think a bit brown when you were born and now they're getting a little bit lighter. Like his hair is becoming like light brown ginge type color which is so cute you're so cute should we try you for another little bit of food maybe we'll see otherwise if you're not gonna have it then maybe we do a bit of tummy time what do you think he likes it he likes being spoken to he's very chatty as well you're so cute you're so cute <laughs> he knows he's cute i'm really sorry about the lighting i'm in a car park because it's absolutely pouring rain outside i just went to kmart and bought alfie some little clothes so because it's getting warmer he needs cooler clothes at the moment. He's got just jumpsuits. So I went and bought him some rompers and I got three. Two of the, I have to say, Kmart's boy section, like baby boy section, bit disappointing. I had to get two of the same. Like the girl section was really good, but the boy section, really disappointing. So I got those ones and I got like two of those. Two little rompers, so cute. I was tempted to get him some Christmas stuff, but I think it might be a little bit too early. And then I got him some little trucks. We're more into dinosaurs than trucks. So yeah, I got him this one. So cute. He's in double zeros now. And then I picked him up three little tops that are in a set. 
So we've got one that's got like a little lion on it and then like a yellow and then one that's got a lion on the back. So cute. And then I got the matching shorts as well. So lion, like gray, and then yellow and white striped. I don't know if yellow is really more his color. I think he's more of a green and blue man. Um, and then I just picked up a couple of things for myself, which I'll show you when we get home. So it's like 10 to seven now. I hadn't updated you since coming home. I cooked for a little bit and then I did a little bit of research. I'm thinking of changing my Instagram and TikTok strategy, um, maybe for the upcoming month. So instead of doing like full dinner recipes, I think I'm going to focus a little bit more on like healthier, high protein snacks, which means I know that I didn't say that I was going to be doing any salads, but because Lewis and I are on this like health journey to not like necessarily lose weight, but maintain a healthier diet because of the food that we're going to be eating because of this recipe website, which means I might be making some salads. I'm not saying that like every recipe is going to be a salad, but we need to expand our, what do we say? Like food palette and just try a couple of things. I think the reason mostly why I don't like salads is because a lot of them that I've had are really boring. So maybe if I find like a really nice dressing and like put some meat in it, it might be a bit more appealing. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do, but we're going to, I think focus on like high protein, low calorie because Lewis and I are wanting to be in like a calorie deficit for pretty much every day to get to our goal, goal weight. Um, not like anything crazy goal weight and then maintain that weight throughout like this journey. So yeah, just a little update for you. Cause I know that in the, my previous vlog, I was like, I'll never do like salad videos. You'll never see me do salad videos. I'm retracting that because Lewis and I really actually need to get healthy and need, we genuinely need to stop eating pasta every night. It's so not good for us. And also we just need to, ex you know, try something different, expand on our horizons, especially if I'm going to have recipes as like my career. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can have the recipe blogging and recipe development as a career. I need to be trying different things. So I looked after Alfie this morning and then I went to Kmart and I showed you some of the outfits that I got for him. I also picked up just a couple of things for me, like some really easy basics from Kmart and I can show the weather today is absolutely shocking in Melbourne. Shocking. Um, it's just been raining the like entire time. I know that it, the lighting is actually really good in my mom's house. It's cause she's got windows everywhere, but honestly it's like pretty dark actually for five to seven during daylight savings here in Melbourne. And it's just been raining nonstop. I'm pretty happy though. The weather this morning, like the news guy this morning said that um, there was going to be really large hailstones and at the moment my car's not under cover anywhere like it's just in a driveway So I'm pretty happy that I'm just fixing up a little tripod So I'm pretty happy that no hailstones are coming down Which is good because otherwise then my car potentially gets damaged and like that would suck because then you got to do like an insurance claim and whatever I'm gonna put you on a tripod and then I'll show you. I didn't go crazy. I just got like a couple of tops and some socks. Also, yes, I'm probably wearing the same clothes as what I normally do. Um, I did actually manage to go for a walk today. I went at like 20 past three. Um, like as soon as the rain stopped, it was absolutely pouring down and then the rain stopped and I was like, quick, I gotta go. So then I went for, I didn't do my 10 kilometers today. I'm so upset which means that I can't really have like, I mean, I can have like chocolate after dinner. Yeah, I only went for like five kilometers today, which is like half of my normal walk. And I can feel it. Like I feel a lot more tired and just a bit bleh. Okay, so Kmart, I got these socks. So I just got five cushioned sole socks. These were $9, pretty good. They've got the, I know that they're like trending at the moment. They've got like little stripes on all of them. I really like the look of the blue ones. So blue with, like black leggings would look really cute. My socks at the moment, most of them, do I have a pair down here? No, I think they're all upstairs. Most of them, the backing, because my, I don't know if you own Converse, but if you do, can you let me know with your Converse and your socks, does the Converse rub most of the cotton or like the material, excuse me, the material off the, the sock? Because most of mine, the material's all over the sock and then you get to like the ankle bit at the back and all the material's gone. So I had to get more and I got five. 
So these will just be for my walks. Um, so that'll get me, I don't know, four days worth, not even. Three days worth. And then I got some, I got two t-shirts and then two tanks. Like two, what do you call them? Strappy tops. I picked up a red. I got these in a size 10 too. Oh, I also haven't tried them on. So if they don't fit, that's okay. I'll just go back and exchange them. I got a red. Is this like too red? For me, I'm trying to find like my color palette. So last week I wore a really pretty blue top and I feel like that baby blue suited me. I think this might be too like pink red. It's not like a deep cherry red. So yeah, I got that one. I then got just a gray. It's just a gray top. These were $8, I think. It doesn't say. $8 each, again, size 10. All four of these, I think, will be mostly for like exercise, like walks in the morning and the afternoon. Um, because when I was in Bali one time, or like the two years ago, maybe three years ago, I got really, really badly burnt on my chest here. And I feel like my skin is like starting to sag possibly because of sun damage so i need to make sure that when i'm going for walks in the morning and the afternoon that i'm covered even for like bathers and stuff like i don't really have like super super revealing bathers up here because i'm so worried that like basically stuff starting to sag because i'm pretty sure of sun damage so i just have to make sure that you know covered so i got a gray one and then in terms of like singlets i think these were six dollars fifty i got also a gray like singlet i actually quite like the i don't know the height of the neckline like it's not all the way down here near your boobs it's like up a little bit so i like that and it's also a bit cropped too so that'll look really cute with my leggings and then i got a this also in a brown and I'm really loving the brown. This is like a chocolate. What do they call this? What color? No, melt brown. I don't know what, what does melt brown mean? Um, so yeah, I got it in a brown again, just like a little crop. I think brown is like my color, like this kind of brown. It's good for my complexion or like my skin tone. So yeah, I got those. Um, and then I got Alfie his little clothes. I did try and get him an a stocking, like everyone in our family. I think I don't think my mum and my stepdad do, but um, everyone in our family is in like Lewis, my sister and I, and the cats as well. They all, we all have like stockings and we hang them up and we put like little, um, what do you call it? Stocking stuff, isn't it? Even the cats, they usually get like little treats or something. I don't know if they, we're gonna do the, that this year. We didn't really do it much last year cause it's kind of a waste of money, but it's nice to put like one or two little things in there. I think things that are useful should go in there. Like if you're going to have like chocolate or like a face mask or something like that. I'm really over getting like knick-knacky type things that I'm never going to use. So I think I might do something like that for my sister this year. Some, actually I can't say because she sometimes watches. So little things that I think she, she will like. Um, yeah, so that's my Friday night. I had a taco bowl. It looks disgusting. I'll put a picture on. I, I just leftovers basically. It looked disgusting, but it was actually really good. But because again, I only went for like a five kilometer walk today. I'm feeling a bit yuck, but I am still going to have M&Ms, peanut M&Ms. Peanut M&Ms are my favorite because I eat the shell first and then I eat the peanut. I'm going to have some of those and then I'm going to watch something. I don't really know what I'm going to watch, but yeah, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow and I don't know what color to get them. The frustrating thing right now is that this nail, I don't, can I even show you? Oh, it's not, for, yeah, this nail is so much shorter than every other nail. And so then when I go, they're going to have to file all of these nails down to this length. But like this length to me is like really short. So yeah, I don't know. But this place that I go to, it's really hard to get into. Like they're always booked, but they're good. Yeah, I don't know. I'll show you tomorrow what color. I'm not really quite sure. Spring. So maybe I should get like a pink or something. Something that looks nice in obviously videos as well. Because like when you place the ingredients in, no one wants to see like fugly nails. They actually don't look that bad anymore. They were all, um, what do you call it? Like damaged from previously having my nails done. Like this one, oh, I doubt it's going to be able to focus on that. Uh, it, it's not showing up, but it, like all the lines and stuff on your nails, that's what these had, but then it's gone now. So yeah, that's going to be my night. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's just past 20, like 20 past one. I went and got my nails done this morning. Can you even see them? Not really. They're like just a pale pink color. And then this finger, it's not my rude finger. 
This finger is like a glittery pink color. Oh, why is it not going to focus? Oh, you might not be able to see it. There's like a little shimmer. Just a little shimmer on this nail, which I think is really pretty. Um, obviously, because like my hands and stuff are in videos all the time, I just felt that maybe I should just get my nails done. I'm not sure if they're like too pale. Like if it's too my skin color. Why is this camera not bloody focusing? Yeah, like I don't know if it's too much my skin color. Maybe I should have gone like much darker. I don't know. I think it's nice and natural. And then maybe next time, next month, I'll get something a bit different. I might get like a blue like a baby blue. I'm just in the process of cleaning the house. Um, not that there's really that much to clean. I haven't really made a big mess actually, which I'm sure my mum will be very happy with. Lewis is coming over tonight. We're gonna have dinner together. I posted a, or my first get ready with me on TikTok this morning. And it was actually really fun to film. Like I wasn't going to do my makeup today, but I was like, well, I might try and do like a get ready with me, different content, because I obviously want the community to follow like myself, but like for like my recipe, sorry, but also like myself, I don't know. I just find that maybe the engagement will be a little bit more if people are invested in the journey. That possibly sounds like super self-conceited, but I don't know. Do people care about that kind of stuff? I feel like people do. Like when they follow people for like a long period of time, they want to know about them and their bit like of their personal life and their journey. So that's what we're trying to create as well. So many different things I'm trying to create. It's absolutely insane. Um, this morning, I should have showed you, I was drenched this morning. I went for a walk at like 8.30 with Teddy. Um, I only take him for a little bit because he has like massive anxiety. And so we just go out for like poos and then I kind of take him back for like 15, 20 minutes for a walk. And because he's on medication, he's zonked for the rest of the day anyway. Like he's asleep on the couch right now. Um, and then I dropped him off and then I went back out and I got like halfway through like a half an hour circuit. So like 15 minutes in and it started to rain. It wasn't like heavy rain, but it was like consistent spitting. So by the time I got back, I was completely drenched. Like I had little dot things all down my face. So that was fun. Yeah, I think I only did like three kilometers today because when my mom lives, it's a bit like hilly. I'm finding that I'm not achieving my 10 kilometers my phone's about, my camera's about to die. I'm not achieving my 10 kilometers because it's so hilly, but I feel like I'm working harder. I don't know if that makes a difference. Like do you, if you work harder and walk less far, does that still count? I'm not sure. I just gotta put this camera on charge and then I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I didn't vlog yesterday because I spent the day with Lewis and like we hadn't seen each other properly for like a week. So we went and played like some, not played, we went and we went to the driving range, hit a couple balls, then went to Bunnings. And then yeah, went for obviously our 10 kilometer normal walk. I am gonna finish off the vlog here today, but I thought that maybe we could get like a little bit ready with each other. I need to take this jumper off because it's gonna be like 25 degrees today. Okay, I think that's better. Oh my God, I really need to dye my eyebrows. I'm sure I've said that like three times already in this video and I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna put on some makeup as usual and then I'm going to make I think I'm gonna do a chicken like lasagna today like a chicken alfredo lasagna as part of my like budget series by the time this video is up I'm sure it's not live just yet so you might just have to wait like a day or so or a couple of days talking about like Instagram and YouTube and stuff I'm thinking about changing the Instagram handle name so at the moment we have salty ginger eats the reason why we chose Salty Ginger Eats is because the website name is Salty Ginger, but because it hasn't gone live like properly since we bought it, like we've changed the design and stuff and the person who owned it previously, her face and name is still all over the website. So that hasn't been updated or changed. And I feel like the name Salty Ginger just doesn't quite match like food content on Instagram. So we're trying to come up with like different handle names on like what we could possibly change in like the Instagram name to. And because obviously there's so many people on the internet, names like, you know, if I had Angie's Eats or Angie Eats, that's like already been taken. And I wanna try and put my name in the Instagram handle, uh, not for like vanity or whatever, but because we wanna obviously make this like a brand 
um, like a personal brand about me and not just about the website. Again, like I think I said in previous vlogs or even previously in this video, um, that we want to try and create a community, not just, you know, not just a place where people can get recipes, like people following on with the journey, um, seeing if it works out and if it flops, you know, how big of a flop is it or how successful is it and how long does it take to become successful. So I want to try and change like the Instagram and TikTok handle to something like Angie or with Angie in it. So I think three that we've come up with the mo at the moment, or should I tell you? I don't know. Um, so we've got Bites by Angie, Angie Craves and Angie Feeds. I think, like, I'm not a huge fan of Angie Craves, but Lewis and his sister really like it. My sister doesn't like it. So that's like a 50-50. I don't mind Bites by Angie, but I feel like a lot of people might have like a similar username. Whereas not a lot of people have like Angie Craves, like something Craves. And we obviously want the handle to be food related. So if you've got any ideas, drop it below. Like we've checked so many handles and names and everything. And so many of them have already been taken because obviously Instagram is quite big now and there's lots of people on there. Like we don't want to have a name that's super similar to other people because then it's not easily searched, if that makes sense. One of the problems when you've got a common name, so like Angie's obviously, or Angela is quite a common name. So then things on like Instagram are harder to come by because lots of people already have the name. So that's kind of like the job today. I'm also going to come up with some new goals because I achieved my 10K goal on TikTok, which is absolutely amazing. New goal is 50,000 followers on TikTok by the end of the year. And then Instagram, I don't know, because Instagram is growing so much slower than what I anticipated. And again, I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong. If I am, let me know. But what I've noticed on TikTok and Instagram, which is like, it's telling me what people want is like snacks. So like wraps, um, you know, like rice paper roll things. Those videos are performing well on both platforms and they're outperforming all the other videos that are taking me hours to do. So like all of my pasta recipes, all the stir fries, all the dinner recipes are getting like 2000 views and then like my wraps and lunch ideas are getting like 10 plus, like even in the millions of views. So clearly TikTok and Instagram are telling me what to do. So I should listen and actually do that. Lewis said that the other day too. So I'm not going to take credit for that observation. He said that. So I think we're going to run with that, I guess. Um, I also have to edit this video today, which I was going to do yesterday, but I didn't end up doing that. So my videos usually go out on a Sunday. So I'm really sorry that they've been super sporadic. We are obviously trying to grow this channel as well, but it's like for you guys and for me, like documenting the journey so far, which has been really fun. And I actually really like getting your feedback and your opinions. So if you do have any, like if you've gone onto my TikTok or Instagram and you've got opinions or thoughts, let me know. Obviously always open to feedback. Yeah, I definitely want to get like a cream bronzer. Like I've had this for so long. I don't want like a powder bronzer anymore just because I don't like powder my face really anymore because like I'm older and I find that my makeup looks better when I don't powder. So I need like a cream one. Any suggestions? Again, let me know. I like NARS brand, but I really want to try like either Fenty Beauty or Rare Beauty. I've never tried any of that stuff though. Always putting like some color. What do we think? of the hair i've got it in like a half up half down type situation i also i'm just going to put on some lip gloss and then i'm going to film like the intro to next week's vlog this is just from mecca it's in let's bounce it's okay i don't actually think it's really my shade though i think i need to get a different one this is like quite brown so this is me for like most of the day or like a couple of hours at least until I get some filming done and then I'll take my hair out probably put it in like a I don't know piggy not piggy tail what are they called ponytail 
and then yeah thank you so much for watching i do really appreciate every single like comment view subscription everything on every single one of my videos i hope that you have a fantastic week we'll see you in a video sometime in the very near future see you later